Hey everybody, Steven here, and today looking at the Govi Table Lamp. This is a portable LED RGB lamp, and this is something that I'm going to be using with the upgrades to the office here that'll go on top of the shelving that I'm getting from IKEA. So did a video actually showcasing me installing the 3D panels and actually painting the office here. And then in the corners, which you can't see right now, but there's going to be these white seamless shelves on the wall and they're actually six feet tall. And then I'm hoping that this will illuminate the corners a little bit. If not, the one thing I am excited about this is that I can use this with Halloween. I uh, kind of go crazy for Halloween with decorating the house and this being portable and rechargeable is going to make it easy for me to actually do various lighting for that. Now this is only 350 lumens that is kind of concerning. I'm wondering how bright does this actually get but beyond that because it is portable I mean I could take it in the backyard we can use it on some of these summer nights to just kind of illuminate uh, the backyard if we wanted to um, in the area that we're sitting. It, there's just a bunch of different things you can do with this compared to some of the other spotlights um, that I've actually used in the past where you have to have the outlet. So before I do open this up, let's see if it actually tells us anything on the back or the sides here about this. Um, nope, it just says colorful lighting, rechargeable, set timers, smart control, dimmable, music sync. A lot of that actually has to do with the app. That is one big thing that I will say about this that I love and why I chose to continue to go with Gobi is because with these RGB light strips, the app is really easy to use. And with this, I am hoping that I can actually kind of sync them together. I don't know if that's possible. If not, having everything under one app versus multiple apps is going to make it easier for me anyways. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. Hopefully it's charged up so I don't actually have to do much um, other than turn it on. And then we will take a look-see here. So, just opening up the box, I mean, there's the inside there, we got a box on the side and then this just sits there. It is quite large, Was and it seems like that in the images, so I was excited about that, and that is it right there. So we have our little legs here, I like that, looks like the bottom here is going to be the on button. We have our kind of plug in there, if we can get a good shot of that bottom is going to be the button the two legs there um, and that's pretty much it let's see if this will actually turn on here Ooh. whoa <laughs> okay that is much brighter than I thought even though it is only 350 lumens this is gonna work out really really good so for this next portion here, I need to actually get my phone. It was almost dead, so I have it charging. So we're going to get my phone and then I'll pull up the app and we will actually kind of test out some of the different things that I can do with this, which are the same that I'm gonna be able to do with the RGB light strips back there. So um, different scenes that you can actually do with this outside of changing just the color. And then the music sync is where and you can change the sensitivity on this, but you can make it dynamic or calm. And dynamic is just gonna kind of pop in versus calm is gonna kind of swell. If you have music playing, it's actually going to pick up on that noise and then it's going to change the colors with this, which you could actually set to just one color if you wanted to, but I like the auto, so it just changes to a bunch of different colors. So let's go ahead and get the uh, app pulled up and we'll check out what this thing can do. All right, so got the app pulled up, just looking for adding a new device, and this is going to be the H6055. You can actually see it right there. Um, this, by the way, is $50. So the big draw here was the fact that it was keeping it in the same system as my RGB light strips, but also the fact that it was portable was really nice, plus I like the aesthetics of it. And so I do wanna cover what's in this box really quick before I try and sync this thing up, just in case something I'm missing. So we have our power cable right here. I do want to check the length on that because I am curious to see how long that is because that is something I need to know. Um, if it's not long enough, I'm going to be charging these up and then turning them on when I do videos and then having to charge them again. So we have our user manual here. Let's see how we actually turn on the Bluetooth and then we'll talk about some of the different specs that I'm going to find out in here. So once you do that, okay, it says literally just tap it on the app here. So once you have the device and yeah, it pulled right up, there you go. Okay, so there is no, uh, 
but please press, please short press on the on off. Short press. Okay, that was one time. A lot of times you have to like click it like three times or turn it on and off, whatever it may be, um, in order to actually get uh, it to go into Bluetooth mode. This wasn't the case. So we're gonna name this device Table Lamp One. All right, here we go. Let's see if this actually works. And we are in. All right, so there you go. So now you can see it. I'm gonna try and <laughs> get this so it doesn't just completely change the lighting for the camera here because it's trying to focus on this. All right, so sorry, this is throwing me off. So the scenes here are different than the light strips, natural. So if you look at that right there, on the RGB light strips, these aren't the same ones that you find. Now you can find lightning, night, universe. Um, so some of them are, but a lot of these aren't. Like you don't get hills, cornfield, canyon, deep sea, flower field, karst cave bonfire you don't get any of that stuff that's pretty cool all right let's see what life says these are some of the same fireworks that's pretty cool festival yeah and this one is short here valentine's day christmas mother's day halloween that is interesting why they would have some that aren't on here that are on the light strips but some of them are odd like uh it's kind of odd that these are under festival but under festival it would have like father's day where it only has mother's day for this one emotion yeah there's just some that aren't in here that is intriguing <laughs> figured it'd kind of be across the board so not sure that i could actually sync all of these up because of that and then of course just choosing a regular color so color wheel, looking at the color wheel here, and then you can actually cycle. So you have that one, one that actually has names on it. And then if you wanted to look at color gradients and with this, you could actually kind of go through these different palettes here, choose any which one that you wanted to with this, which is really, really cool. The scenes that we were just on. So let's like look at these, I'll let you guys see them. So that's emotion right there. Then you have Festival, Halloween I will be using. As I mentioned, I really like Halloween. Then we have Life. And then Natural is the one that I just showed a second ago right there. Of course, you can create your own if you wanted to. That's the DIY there. Um, the music. So with this, it's probably gonna time to my voice, which you can see right here, very, very cool the sensitivity and we'll see this right there so you can change the sensitivity to this if you wanted to um, with this so this this was on dynamic this is now on calm so the fade is a little bit different than dynamic where it kind of pops in auto color if we turn that off let's say we want to go blue and we want to go blue only you could change it so it's only going to have blue maybe you want yellow whatever it may be you can create your own colors as well i'm going to create my own colors i can add a bunch there very cool to do. Um, music sync from device mic. That is different than the RGB light strip, if I remember correctly, because I don't remember seeing that on that, because obviously this is going to play music off of your phone, where that's going to try to listen to what's in the environment. So very cool. Of course, you can change the brightness if you want. We can go all the way down to one. That's not going to be very bright, obviously, all the way up to 100. Uh, you have the timer and then the effects lab. I haven't actually messed with the effects lab much. So, I mean, there's so many different things that you can choose. This is like having me choose animal stuff right now, like emotions, and then it would give you colors in there, like uh, marine life, like if you wanted to mess with marine life, whatever you may want to do, and then you could choose colors in there also. So I haven't messed much with that. Um, let's just choose a scene here. It's fine, whoa. I always like, and it does have it here, the universe one is pretty cool. I do like that. So we'll keep it on this. So let's talk about the specifications here. I'm gonna set this down for just a second. You'll see the glow on my lap. So specifications, working voltage 
is going to be AC 100 to 240 volts, pretty standard. Input is 12 volts with one amp. Lumen, I said this, it's 350 lumen. Um, the color is the RGBWW. Color temperature, and you can change that on the app. I did not cover that, so you could just literally do it like you would a normal light, but it's going to go from 2200K up to 6500K. Battery capacity, 3350 milliamps, which would get you four hours of light with this, which is really good. Charging duration for that, though, is going to be four hours, so it does have a longer charging time. Working temperature, negative 10 to 45 degrees Celsius, which is gonna be 14 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. You do get a one year warranty with this as well. And let's talk about the control buttons. Power on, press and hold for three seconds. Power off, press and hold for 10 seconds. The light will flash with blue twice, it'll turn off. Sleep mode, press and hold for two seconds. Awake, press once in sleep mode. Color switch, press to switch from, from different colors. So you could actually just cycle through stuff on this. Very cool. So yeah, maybe you're not gonna use the app or you can for whatever reason. The lamp is not waterproof. Avoid exposing it to splashing or dripping water. That is going to be different than some of the other flood lamps that you can get because a lot of those are waterproof or water resistant. So be very careful with that. Obviously, don't put this near a heat source or expose it to sunlight for a long time. Um, with this, think that do not install the lamp with a dimming driver. And then the lamp internal light source cannot be replaced. If it breaks, you must replace the entire lamp. And I think that is it. Here we go. Can multiple users control one device? How long will the battery life? You can actually check on the app for the battery life. It does answer that. Each device can only be controlled by one account. So keep that in mind with that. So maybe if you're using this for party reasons or whatever, um, where you have a company that does that stuff that can be an issue there. Then, set this behind me for a second because now I want to actually check this cord because this was something I was concerned about with being able to reach the top of the shelving. Like I mentioned, it is six foot. And so, that's pretty close to six foot. You can't really see it in the video. Here's the length, right? So, um, Let's see, my desk is six foot. Let's check it on that. It's six foot. So six foot, that'll get it to the top, but that also means that obviously I'm gonna need to run a cable over there, an extension cable over there on the ground so that this can plug into it and then it can run, run up the back. But if I do that, it actually has to be a little bit higher because if it's just six foot, that thing is six foot tall. This would have to be right at the edge for this. And this is also gonna be sitting up. So just to showcase this real quick. So that's obviously the easy setting position here, but if I wanna tilt it, that was the other one, right? That you could do. And this is how I want to actually do it in the room. So I bought the one. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or not, but uh, yeah, I really like this thing. So I'm gonna get the other one here. Like I mentioned, it is more expensive. For this same price, a lot of these flood lamps, and they're gonna be like 100 watts, you're gonna get a lot more lumens. Um, a lot of times, yeah, they may be water resistance or waterproof, and you can actually leave them outside. That is kind of what it's geared towards more over this. Um, it is cheaper, but with that, not rechargeable, so it doesn't have a built-in battery. You don't get a lot of the cool lighting effects that you're gonna get with this app, and that's the big draw for me. And then the aesthetics of those, it doesn't look as cool as this. So well worth it for me and what I'm going to do. Plus I get to repurpose this and I get to take it outside for Halloween and things like that as well. So I'm gonna have a link for this in the description. If there's anything that I didn't answer with this video, 
uh, let me know in the comment section. I'll make sure that I actually shoot uh, or shoot. <laughs> I'll answer those questions for you there. I was jumping ahead because I am going to finish this video out with a bunch of B-roll so you get some other angles of this than me just kind of holding it right here in my hands. But uh, I will answer those questions for you there. I will have a, like a, like I said, a link for this in the description as well as the light strip that I'm using in the back as well. So that's going to be it for this one, everybody. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, more specifically, the next upgrade that I'm doing to the office, which is the shelving with this being involved in that, obviously sitting on the top, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.